Hi everybody, it's me again. I just wanted to share with you the finished wands that I did using those pieces that I showed you in the last video. But just real quick, I wanted to share with you what I found at the Dollar Tree today. I went after work with my girlfriend and I found these pens. And yes, I pretty much bought them all. Sorry for that noise. But as always, when I, you know, I haven't gotten a message all day long. It's 6.40 something at night and now they want to start messaging me. Ugh, sorry about that. I cannot help it. But anyway, so yeah, I found these pens and there's different ones. Different colors on the tops. Let's see, these are some. Um, I can't tell if it's different or not, but I grabbed 20. <laughs> I really didn't really look at them too well but there's a few that have a little bit of Let's see if I can find the one that I was using maybe is it this one so you know if you really really want to be particular when picking these out you know just check them out but I just grabbed them all and the majority majority of these are okay so these are pens from Dollar Tree and there's like a rose gold and then silver and there was a lot more rose gold and silver which i was happy about because that's what i really wanted and like i was saying the tops are different so this is kind of i don't know pinkish because then there's also a more maybe not i think you know when you put them all together they look the same see that looks like pink to me and then this looks lavender and then we got this color which is like a mint maybe the tops and then on the silver ones uh, let's see here what did I grab? there's the lavender the pink and then like a mint so they do write well actually um, let me just open up my pad here somewhere and kind of do a quick I mean for a Dollar Tree pen they write well enough so and it's a thin and it's black I mean for me that's that's fine so I did where, where did it go oh, that's the lid. oh here it is I picked up a whole bunch because you know I like to have a variety of pens for when I make my TNs that I sell plus I'm sure I'll gift a couple and maybe I don't think I'll keep any only because I already have maybe four already from different places including the Dollar Tree or maybe I'll keep one rose gold I don't know but I have 20 <laughs> yes I cleaned them out I don't care um, so what I wanted to show you really was my wand. So I did share with you the um, pinwheels that I put together using a silhouette file. And I just glued them onto a straw, which I think these here probably, I think they were from Target. The rest, I don't know. Um, but you know, I collect straws and then I, got rid of a lot I sold a lot gifted a lot so and yet I still got a big stash but so I just wanted to make sure I had enough in my stash for all occasions um, I'm trying to open up my silhouette so I can give you the files this time I got a little more time now to um, go through that I should have opened this before I started um, anyway, so I just glued it onto the straw. The straw, I do flatten the tip. And then I glue it down with hot glue. And then I just put a circle on there. I just use my punches that I have, you know, in whatever size I might need. So I am looking at this moment for my file real quick. I hope it's going to be quick. It could be one that I did not purchase. So meaning it came with my machine okay yeah I think it was I think it was just a simple so it was in the library you know when you buy the silhouette cameo you get some free design sometimes and I think that's what it was because it won't show in your account because it's already there I 
I'm looking. Yeah, it's just called Pinwheel. <laughs> but they do sell the files as well, and they have different ones. I've done different ones before, but this one here is just called Pinwheel. Um, if it's in the store, I can't, I, I can't find it right now in my account. So just when you go to your, either check your, your stash, you might already have it in your files, or go to the store and then look it up under pinwheel. This is just a simple four point pinwheel. And I did put a brad in there and then I just covered it with one of my stickers from Michaels that I've had for a while, the sticker gems or whatever they're called. Uh, let's see. Out. Well, it's not the same color, but these. <laughs> I still have a whole bunch of these in my stash. So, um, using that pad that I showed you yesterday, I made all the wands. This one here that I found at Tuesday morning. Okay, so I did those four, and then I did. I did use the. Oh, come on, come on. The rosettes and made these four. So they're going to go together as little, you know, sets. And usually I like to do three. So the third one, I haven't decided if I'm just going to use chenille stems or something else. Most likely it'll be chenille, chenille stems. So um, I went into my Easter stash and pulled out my cupcake picks that I have. I can't recall where I got these from, but I do pull out the sticks. I just kind of wiggle it until they come out. It will leave a dent, so if you, you know, don't like that, then use something else. But this is how it came out, and I did cut out or punch out some scallop circles with the paper. I used this, uh, this one's a two and a quarter scallop circle from EK Success, and then this one's, I think, the next size down from Fiskars. <clears throat> So for all four of those, I just punched out those scallop circles with the same paper pad. And then I layered everything together. I took my um, rosette, which I've got to find that file too. That one I know I had to purchase. It was one that I purchased. So let me, let me go back. Um, I put it together before I put the glitter. So I hot glued the straw in to one of the little slots I pinched it and then slid it in put the two layers um, first I hot glued down the first layer uh Oh. then I put some dimensional tape on the second layer and then glued that down and then I put the little cupcake pick you know without the what's it called without the stick and then later on I decided I wanted to add the glitter. <laughs> I always think of those things at the end, which I don't care. It's, it's Here it is. I found the file. Ah! So what I did use to adhere it, I always do this. I just take my glossy accents and just, you know, put it on the edge little by little, you know, section at a time. And then I pour some of this glitter, which I find at Walmart. It's called, I think it's called bubblegum. Yeah, bubblegum. Um, I love this. It's just a combination of like a pink and white or just shades of pink. I pour it onto a mat and then dip this in and sprinkle it in anywhere that I might have missed it and then I just let it dry. So that's how that came out. So I did that to all of them and I just layered different things in different papers. Now these stickers here, these two are dimensional stickers that I had since last year. I think they were gifted to me. Um, but this is my second pack because I bought these before. I might have used the one that was gifted, I don't know. But this I had found at Tuesday morning. So, <clears throat> I used the stickers on these two. And they're really cute. And then the last one, um, I was gifted a couple of bunny shapes, wooden bunny shapes here. I was gifted this one and the one that I used the same glitter Whoops, and the glue. So I decided to just glitter it up. Almost looks like one of those uh, marshmallow bunnies. Um, I forgot what they're called. So this file for this rosette, I found it. It's called Heart Edged Rosette Medallion by Susan Cannon. So that's what I purchased in the design store silhouette. Okay, so um, that's pretty much all I have for you today. Really quick and simple. Just 
wanted to share that. Oh, there's one more. Did I show you this one? They're all the same. Just wanted to share these with you and my little find at Dollar Tree. I probably will be going to another Dollar Tree soon. <laughs> Only because I'm looking for something and I haven't found it yet. So, All right. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, I don't know what will my next project be, but might just go ahead and start making my bags so that I can see what other little things I need to, to uh, make. So thank you again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.